Hello, welcome to my first makeup video in quite a long time. Today I thought I'd walk you through my current favourite everyday natural makeup. I say everyday, I've done this for like two days, but I already know this is my new everyday makeup because I love it. I have some new products that I've never spoken about before, never shown you before, that I love, so let's just get into it. Let's just get my hair out the way. My new foundation is the Body Shop's Fresh Nude Foundation in Barley Vanilla 020. Not too long ago, the Body Shop was acquired by a cruelty-free company. The reason that a lot of cruelty-free buyers didn't used to buy from the body shop was because they were owned by L'Oreal. The website's really great for vegans. You can search buy vegan products. They have a whole section for vegan products. I went in a store asking about the foundation so that I could have my color matched and the ladies were so, so nice and helpful and they gave me free samples of things. They didn't try and push me into buying anything but I ended up buying a brush and foundation and I really love this brush. Yeah, it's great. I'm really impressed. Thank you for the lovely customer service body shop. And I'm just obsessed with this foundation. I love it. It smells, I don't know how to describe it. It smells really bloody good. So I just like dab, dab, dab a bit on. So this is a face brush from the body shop. Looks like that. And then it feels so light. We can barely feel the brush really. Earrings getting in the way. Before, after. I've always had a real problem with things creasing and looking cakey, my skin. Like for a long period of time, I just refused to wear foundation because it just made me feel so much worse about my skin. It just looked horrible. Like when you got close up in the mirror, I just felt gross. And I don't have that problem at all with this. I mean, at least so far. I've only been using it a week or so, but already like, it's just so nice. Then I'm just gonna use little dots of the foundation as concealer. So like over this little spotty bit, kind of blend it around it. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown with a little angled brush. I haven't plucked my eyebrows in quite a long time. So they're getting all bushy under here. I've trimmed them a little bit cause they really like really stick up if I don't. Though I hear that's a trend now. Do I have trendy eyebrows? They're like wolf brows. They're difficult to tame. <laughs> I basically just fill in under here a little bit and then up here a little bit. And then what I've been doing recently to try and control my eyebrows a little bit. I take a clean mascara wand, spray it with some hairspray, and then just run it through my brows. I've never found any brow gel that works for me. My eyebrows are just too independent. <laughs> they will not be told where to sit, but this does kind of help. And you can't feel it. I mean, if you touch them, you probably can. They might feel a bit crispy, <laughs> but I don't, I don't, it doesn't feel uncomfortable on my face or anything. Now I'm gonna scratch my nose. Now I'm going to do some contour. I have the Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. For some reason, I feel like I've heard something about them not being cruelty free anymore. Is that true? I don't know. I was sent this as a PR gift quite a long time ago now. Now I'm gonna put on some blush. This is Milani Baked Blush in the color Coralina. So this is a baked shiny blush and I think it's a very pretty color. I only use like tiniest little dabs. A little dab will do you. It's quite easy to put too much of this on. I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter, but nothing too intense. The blush is quite shimmery. For the highlight and for my eyes in a second, I'm gonna use the Carly Bible 
Dulux Edition palette from BH Cosmetics, which looks like this. This one just fell out. I think I dropped it. I think it was my fault somehow. I don't think it's the, the palette. The palette's pretty good. Whenever I use the highlight, I always mix a tiny bit of these two together, the pink and the white. Oh, this brush I got this morning in my Vegan Kind Beauty Box. It's like a rainbow fan brush from Spectrum. For my eyes, I'm just gonna, with my finger, rub some of this on my lid. Then with a the little brush, I'm gonna put some of the same color on like the outer corner of my bottom eye. Under my eye, just on like the outer corner. This is a BH Cosmetics brush, I think. This is BH Studio Pro 7. Then using the Bold Waterproof Eyeliner in Brown from Barry M, I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of brown eyeliner on, ow, my elbow, <laughs> on the outer corner of my lid. Can you see how tiny that is? Without, with, with, without. I switched to using pretty much exclusively brown eyeliner quite a few months ago and I wish I'd done it sooner. It just creates such a nice, like, subtle, more natural effect. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes. Uh... The mascara I'm using is the Eyes Right Mascara from Lush. The only mascara I own. Mascara is one of those things where I'll only have one at a time. I don't have, like, <laughs> a collection. I have multiple lipsticks and a few different options of eyeshadow. And then things like mascara, blush, and powder, I tend to just have one and just use it till it's gone. I really like this mascara. I go back and forth. Oh no, <laughs> just got it on my eyelid. I go back and forth between using this and the Pacifica. Um, fuck. I just did it again. <laughs> and then my bottom lashes. It's quite easy to get this mascara off if you do get it on yourself. Now I'm gonna create some freckles. I've only done this once <laughs> and it went great. So fingers crossed, it goes great again. I'm using the same brown eyeliner that I just did my eyeliner with, the one from Barry M. It's not very sharp. It's really, really blunt at the minute, but I'm just gonna jump in and try it anyway. We can have some chunky freckles, why not? I just put it on my skin and then lightly sort of roll it. And then I kind of dab it to like diffuse it a bit because I don't want it to just look like brown eyeliner. <laughs> when I've done my lipstick, I'll also use this to emphasize my little beauty dot there. It's just like the one freckle I actually do have <laughs> and it happens to be right there. So then on my lips, I'm gonna use this tiny little <laughs> sad eyeliner. <laughs> this is from ColourPop. I'm pretty sure it's in the color Tootsie. There's no writing or anything left on it. This is how I have to get the end out look. There's nothing there at the minute. And then give it a little flick. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the color Tootsie and this is what I pretty much always use to line my lips. Then for my lipstick, I'm gonna try one of these uh, Beauty Without Cruelty lipsticks that I've never tried before. They literally arrived in the post this morning, so this will be my first go trying them out. They're two different kind of nudes. One's kind of a light pinky nude. One of them looks like a bit of a more dusky nude. I think I'm gonna try the lighter one. This is Deshabelle, Deshabelle. I don't have my glasses on and it's really hard to read, so. <laughs> That first lipstick I tried on was pretty, but it was quite a bit brighter and shinier than I thought. I took that off and replaced it with the other one, which is called Koala Bear, and I think it looks much nicer. And this is the finished look. I think it looks quite fresh and 
maybe not entirely natural, but natural enough. <laughs> I feel like it works really well with my eye color. It feels really nice to wear. Like I said, this will probably be my new everyday makeup routine. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye. In about an hour, I'm going to visit the wedding venue that I mentioned in my previous video. I'm so excited. Anyway, a massive thank you to my $30 patrons, Maria, Emma, Elizabeth, Lene, and Lynette. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your support. Thank you so much to all of my patrons. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for commenting on it and giving it a little like. And thank you for being lovely and supportive. The last video that I made, I just wanted to say thank you so much for such an amazing response to that video. Not that like I said anything big or crazy or anything, but I guess it had been quite a long time since I posted and I had all these thoughts that I'd, I was letting people down and that people were just getting bored of me and frustrated with me. And then there was such an incredible amount of people that were just so understanding and sent me such lovely comments and messages. I sat there for so long just reading through all the comments with a big smile on my face and just feeling so loved and happy and like I didn't, I, I don't know. You just make me feel really good. You always make me laugh. So thank you and I hope you enjoy this video. Bye. <laughs> I did that so gently it probably looked crap. You're supposed to like slam it, aren't you? And I'm like, bye, 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 bye. <laughs>